trigonometric graphs. A. Complete the table below by filling in the blank spaces for the functions y is equals to 2 sine x plus 30 degrees and y is equals to 2 cosine a half x degrees for x is greater than or equal to 0 and should be less than or equal to 210. Get your calculator so that you can fill this table. The first thing that you're supposed to be careful with, look at the table. It has been filled correct two decimal places. All the values are given correct two decimal places and that is what you're supposed to maintain. When you're filling, you should indicate the answers correct to two decimal places. So let's get started. So the first one is um, function y is equals to sine. So you just write it to uh, sine. Then you have uh, x plus 30. So x plus 30. So the first gap is when x is 30. So when x is 30, 30 plus 30, that will give 1.73. 1.73. The next one is 90. When x is 90, x is 90 degrees. Uh, y will be 1.73. Again, 1.73. When it is 150, is 150, you get zero. So it's 0. 0.00. When it is 210, it's 210, you get negative 1.73. So that is all about the first curve. Let's go to the second. Second is uh, 2 cosine, 2 cosine a half x, so we have 1 over 2 x. So the first one is when x is 30, just multiplying, when x is 30, you get 1.93. When x is 90, you get 1.41. When x is 120, you get 1, 1 1.00. When it is 150, 0 0.52. When is 210, next is 210, negative 0. 5.2. So now we've filled the table and we've ensured that the values are correct to decimal places. At B, by using completed table in A above, draw the graphs of y is equals to 2 sine x plus 30 and y is equals to 2 cos a half x. Take 2 centimeters to represent 1 unit on the y axis and 2 centimeters to represent 15 degrees on the x axis. Going to make a correction there. For the x-axis, 2 centimeters to represent 15 degrees will not work. I think there's a mistake there. I'm going to correct. So I will use, um, so for the x-axis, uh, allow me to use 2 centimeters to represent 30, not as indicated here. This one won't work. So for the y-axis, 2 centimeters to represent 1 unit. So after every 2 centimeters, we have 1 unit so this one will be two and when i look at the largest value is 1.9 the smallest is zero uh, the smallest is uh, negative 1.73 uh, so the way i've drawn the line is okay so this will be negative one again two centimeters one unit then this one is negative two so i think that one is okay then for the x-axis i've rectified these two centimeters to represent 30 so you'll have 30 then this one will be 60, this will be 90, then 120, this is uh, 150, 180, and uh, 210. So 2 centimeters to represent that. Then now I can plot the first, start with the first curve, uh, y is equals to sign x plus 30. When x is 0, y is 1, so 0, 1, so 0, 1 will be there then 30 1.7 remember when you're plotting we can't uh, be able to estimate at to correct two decimal places so you're going to round off these values as we plot correct one decimal place for ease of plotting so 30 1.7 30 1.7 so one small square will represent 0 0.1 so this will be 30 so this one 1.5 0.6 will be there then um 60 2 62 will be there 90 1.7 again be there then 120 1 and 21 you repeat this 121 be there then 150 0 180 negative 1 210 negative 1 1.7 so now after doing that you can now join these points uh, using a small curve so that is how it's supposed to be now that is the curve y is equals to y is equals to 2 sine x plus 30 degrees so this is the curve y is equals to 2 sine x plus 30 degrees now you go to the other one, Let's plot the other one, y is equals to 2 cosine half x degrees. So when x is 0, y is 2, so that is a point. When x is 30, 1.9, 30, 1.9, 
is here then 60 1.73 60 supposed to be them 1.4 90 degrees 1.4 so 1.4 is uh, here so you have 1.4 then 121 sharing a common point there then we have 150 0 0.5 0 0.5 uh, we are rounding all these uh, values as you plot correct one decimal place then 180 0 then 210 negative 0 0.5 negative 0 0.5 is uh, here so now we can join these points using smooth curve like that so that is the curve of y is equals to 2 cosine i have x degrees at c use your graph to solve 1 2 sine x plus 30 degrees is greater than or equal to 2 cosine i have x so how are we supposed to solve this now to solve these are uh, inequality you notice that uh, this is the first graph y is equals to 2 sine x plus 30 then should be greater than uh, this one is the function of the second curve y is equals to 2 cos i have x degrees to solve this we do check the point of intersection of the two curves where do they meet where do they meet and uh, you notice that they meet here this is uh, one point here this is uh, one point this one let me draw it properly so there's that point where they are meeting and then there is uh, this one so what you do you draw a straight line dropping down from that point of intersection of the two you drop down and read this value so this will be our solution this will be our solution and that angle there is uh, between 30 and 60 this will be 45 degrees then the other point of intersection is uh, here this point that is here you draw a straight line from that point of intersection draw a straight line and uh, when you drop down you realize that this one is exactly at 120 degrees so that is the range that is the range that is supposed to give uh, between 45 degrees and uh, 120 because a small allowance is given you're drawing the graph so this is how supposed to give this uh, solution that um, because the range is from 45 x should be greater than when you look at this range from 45 to 120 so the range is x should be greater than or equal to 45 degrees that is how you write it x should be greater than or equal to 45 degrees and it should be less than or equal to 120 degrees so that is the range of the values of x that will satisfy these two equations just look at the point of intersection of the two and you've seen is from 45 to 120 then part b we have uh, two cosine of half x degrees is equals to 0 0.5 so i want you to look at that function of this curve y is equals to cosine half x degrees and then you go to the y-axis and uh, identify 0 0.5 identify 0 0.5 on the y-axis uh, 0 0.5 then draw a straight line draw a straight line 0 0.5 is here. is here let me draw a straight line from there so these are you have uh, 0 0.5 so when you draw a straight line up to the point where it touches that curve y is equals to 2 cos i have x and you notice this is the point where it will touch the curve the point is here let me draw it so the point is here this is why it touches when you draw this a straight line i will make it darker so that is the line so 0 0.5 this is where you have 0 0.5 so that line touches then drop down from there drop down straight and uh, you notice the solution will be 150 is here 150 150 degrees 150 degrees and that is uh, exactly what you're supposed to do since um you're supposed to find uh, the values of x whereby the two cosine r of x is equals to 0 0.5 so you just go to where we have 0 0.5 on the y-axis draw a straight line up to the point where it touches that curve then drop down get the value of x so we get x will be 150 degrees then per d set the amplitude and period of y is equals to sine x plus 30 amplitude so amplitude is easy to identify of that curve to sine x plus 30 that is the highest point of that curve uh, the highest point is um 2 that is the highest point and that is the 
amplitude is the amplitude two what about the period uh the period uh, we just identify that we can identify the period from the equation of this um curve uh, if you're given the equation in this form y is equals to a sine uh say bx plus theta if you have equation in that form it can be cosine it can be sine a is the amplitude then these are get the period period is obtained by taking 360 divided by b divided by the coefficient of x so in this case the period is going to be 360 divided by the coefficient of x the coefficient of x is one so divide by one therefore you get 360 period is the angle it takes for this curve to make one complete cycle so it moves and then it completes the cycle at 360 this one is not complete but when you complete that curve, if you draw the whole of it up to 360, you realize that it will make one complete cycle after completing 360 degrees. That is how you're supposed to solve that question. Thank you.